amiodarone, also known by the trade name cordarone. Amiodarone is indicated for the treatment of atrial fibrillation, ventricular arrhythmias, SVTs, and it is found on ACLS protocols for ventricular fibrillation and ventricular tachycardia. Amiodarone works by prolonging phase 3 of the action potential, making the heart more tolerant to arrhythmias, inhibiting adrenergic stimulation, slowing the heart rate, and decreasing peripheral vascular resistance, causing vasodilation. The therapeutic classification of amiodarone is an antiarrhythmic agent, and the pharmacologic class is a class 3 antiarrhythmic. Special nursing considerations include increased digoxin and warfarin levels, a requirement for EKG monitoring while on therapy, assessment of pulmonary status to watch for development of pulmonary toxicity, or ARDS, monitoring of liver function tests, pulse monitoring, watching for signs of hypotension, CHF, and bradycardia. Amiodarone may cause QTC prolongation, especially in combination with certain antibiotics and antipsychotic agents. Patients should not drink grapefruit juice while on amiodarone, as it may affect blood levels. It is also important to note the chemical structure of amiodarone, as the presence of iodine means that amiodarone can affect thyroid function due to the wolf chaikoff effect. Therefore, thyroid levels should also be monitored while on therapy. Visit nrsng.com slash 50 meds for our free cheat sheet covering the 50 meds every nurse must know. That's nrsng.com slash 50 meds. This has been another MedMaster podcast by nrsng.com with your host, licensed pharmacist Cody Magnuson, BSC, PharmD candidate. Now, from all of us at NRSNG, thanks for being here and happy nursing.